too. Oh, I had a little trouble chasing down a foul ball. <laughs> he ran through a little girl's birthday party, took out the pinata, and then crash landed into a Pocahontas ice cream cake. <laughs> it was either Pocahontas or the chubby girl with the inhaler. Somebody was going down. <laughs> Where's Charlie? Shouldn't she be back with my truck by now? She's buying a mattress that takes time. What the hell's that? Are you sure you didn't take down that chubby girl? This is the sheriff's department. Exit your domicile. Rodney! Charlie? Oh, my God. What happened? What happened to my truck? Oh, don't worry about me. Almost drowned, but I'm good. Rodney! We fished your vehicle out of Worcester Lake. What's this for? Illegal parking in a recreational waterway. <laughs> Illegal operation of a non-amphibious craft. And my personal favorite, fishing without a license. <laughs> Morning, Trina. You look awful pretty today. Thanks, Gerald Wobb. You doing something different to your hair? Looks like it's been dipped in sunshine. <laughs> okay. Why did you drive my truck into the lake? I didn't drive your truck into the lake. The gear shift was stuck in reverse, so technically I backed your truck into the lake. How does someone back a truck into a lake? What are you doing at the lake anyway, Charlie? You should have been at least five miles from the lake. This truck is not a lake truck. It is now. <laughs> You ruined my truck. This is so typical of what you do. Well, if I make your life so miserable, then maybe I shouldn't be in your life at all. Trina, I look forward to seeing you in happier times. Charlie. <laughs> you just gonna let her walk off like that? Well, I can't give her a lift now, can I? Oh, well, how's my truck doing? What'd your mechanic say, Carl? Well, he says your distributor's all shot, the electrical needs to be replaced, and you got water in the intake manifold. Other than that, uh, she's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> well, if y'all decide against fixing her, just let me know. I got a lot of beauties out there on that lot, and we're overstocked on inventory, so I'm practically giving them away. <laughs> Daddy, y'all have to do the routine. I don't want a new truck. I want my old truck. Well, y'all think about it and let me know. But don't think too long. Those babies are priced to move. Daddy, stop it. Where the I-44 meets old 66. Daddy. You'll see the sign. Honey, I love that truck just as much as you do, but let's be realistic here. If the repairs are going to cost more than the truck, shouldn't we at least think about getting a new truck? The Shefflings have a new minivan with a DVD player in the headrest. And they don't have to sit on a toolbox. <laughs> you know, I can't believe you guys are just giving up on our truck like that. I don't get it. Why are you so in love with the truck? Let me tell you boys something. If it wasn't for that truck, none of us would even be here. The 1995 Southwest Tulsa Men's Construction League Fast Pitch Softball Champions. Division B. <laughs> Dreams do come true, don't they? Thanks to you, Mr. MVP. Oh, Barry. It's just a game, and I'm just a player. Like Picasso was just a painter, and Beethoven was just a dog. <laughs> Sorry that took so long, guys. It's my first night, and I'm running a little behind. Oh, we didn't order anything yet. Oh, then I'm running a little ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just take a couple of beers. Okay. <laughs> well, now that softball season's over, I guess I'm gonna have to let you go. So here is $600 severance pay. You're firing me? I thought I was getting better at the construction work. You'd think that a guy that could hit a fastball could hit a nail with a hammer, but uh, apparently those are two completely different skill sets. Hey, okay, guys, here you go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I stopped to get you a new one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, would you mind dumping yours in your lap so I don't look so silly? See her? Who? That blonde at the bar. That has got to be the prettiest girl I've ever seen. You know, that's the same thing I said when I first met Jeannie. 
I said, Jeannie, look over there. That's the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I gotta go meet this girl. Again. I know what you're thinking, but I'm just here to pick someone up. That's not what I'm thinking, but that's what I'm thinking now. <laughs> I'm Rodney. Well, Rodney, I'm just here to pick up my sister. Oh, I didn't catch your name. I didn't throw it. Oh. I bet it starts with a T. That's right, it's Trina. How'd you know that? I saw the T on your necklace. That's a cross. I know, but I got your name. <laughs> Trina, I like that. So what do you do, Trina? Oh, I'm an office manager over at Carl's Used Car Emporium. Emporium, that sounds fancy. Oh, it is. And I don't work in just any trailer. It's a double wide. <laughs> <laughs> double wide. <laughs> You're wearing your shoes and you got all your teeth. Somebody pinch me. <laughs> this guy bothering you, Trina? No, Gerald Bob. You know, I'm, uh... Shipping out to the police academy next week. You're shipping out in that place like three blocks from here? <laughs> Your innocence is refreshing. It will be a ray of hope to light my path along the dark streets of Tulsa. Okay. In case I don't make it back, maybe we could finally go on that date I've been pestering you about since high school. Gerald, Bob, I'm going to once again have to say no. Why? Because of him? I don't believe we've met. Uh, this is Rodney. You listen to me, Rodney. Gerardo Roberto, ven aquí. Oh, hey. Ven aquí, burro perezoso. I don't... This ain't over, Rodney. ¿Cuánto tiempo has empezado a No comprende. How is it possible to have a chip on your shoulder and a net in your hair all at the same time? <laughs> oh, my... There she goes again. Boneheaded waitress is like a walking disaster, isn't she? That bonehead is my sister. <laughs> Would it be too late to ask for your number? Well, let's see. You've insulted my sister, and you have a questionable stain on your pants. So how do you feel about Italian? I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm going to find the man of my dreams in a bar. Come on, nobody remembers all their dreams. Maybe you forgot the one I was in. <laughs> so how'd it go? She blew me off. I'm sorry. Mm, don't be sorry. You know how they say when you meet the one, you'll know it? That was her, Barry. I'm gonna marry that woman. Is this story ever gonna have a truck in it? Remember how I was telling you that your mom worked for Grandpa Carl? Well, I had a plan to go down there and run into her. With the truck? Sure. Hey, Trina! What are you doing here? I work here. Oh, that's right. You told me that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Since I'm here, you want to grab some lunch? Uh, it's not a date or anything. I would never meet the girl of my dreams on a car lot. Hey, how you doing? I'm Carl. Right. Rodney, good to meet you. We got lots of little beauties here on the lot, as you can see. Of course, we're overstocked on inventory, so I'm practically giving them away. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, I'm already being helped. Uh, Trina, would you mind running in the office and finishing that paperwork up for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Trina, hang on a second. Why can't I deal with her? I handle the sales, Rodney. She handled the paperwork. You want to talk to Trina, you're going to have to buy something. <laughs> buy something? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Let's do it. What do you got? Well, how about this little jewel right here? It's an 83, got a nice new paint job on it, brand new recap. Sold. How much is it? 1995. But only because I like you. <laughs> how, how much would you like me for $600? Yeah, not a whole hell of a lot. Damn it, Carl. What's it going to take to get me in one of these trucks today? <laughs> That's my line, son. How about that one? <laughs> well, today is your lucky day, son. I can probably cut the price down on this to, uh, 
600 bucks. Sold. Well, if you'll just step over here. I did it. I did what he said. I bought a truck. Already? Yeah. Which one? Just a second. A brown one. I think it's brown. Here's the money. Well, since you're paying cash, there won't be any paperwork. No, no. No, no. I was promised paperwork. You do your job and give me some paperwork. Well, I, I could put you on our mailing list. Okay. That's a start. Yeah, I'm gonna need your phone number and address. Okay, great. And I'll be needing yours. Ronda, I hope you didn't think if you bought this truck that I'd go out with you. What? That's ridiculous. I needed that truck. I've been all over town. You can't find brown. Hell, everybody's out of brown. Hey, as long as we're clear. Crystal clear. How about dinner and a movie? Will you stop? Bumper boats, mini golf. <laughs> I'm gonna get your title. That Carl guy, he's quite a character, huh? What do you mean? Oh, sleazy suit, corny banner, snidely whiplash mustache. Five minutes with that guy, I feel like I need to shower. <laughs> he's my daddy. I think we're done here. Done? Wait a minute, how can we be done? We just got started. Okay, Rodney, nothing personal, but you are not my type. I'm sorry. How is it that I see us married and you say that I'm not your type? Well, when I imagine my wedding day, I don't see you coming down the aisle. <laughs> of course not. I'd already be up front. <laughs> you know what I mean. I need someone with direction who is responsible and has a good job. Look, I don't know how I know this. I just do. When I think about the future, I see you, I see me, and I see that brown truck out there. I see kids, I see a porch, I see a tire swing. And on Sundays, I'm gonna get up in the morning and I'm gonna make you bacon and eggs. And you're gonna come in there after breakfast and you're gonna tell me, go mow that yard. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mow that yard. Why? Because I love you and you love me. What do you think about that? I have a buzzer under my desk that's wired directly to the sheriff's office. <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《
stupid. <laughs> it's weird, because when I first met him, he seemed a little off. And then when he came by the car lot, he seemed really off. Oh. <laughs> then after he left, I couldn't stop thinking about him. He's cute and funny, and he's so confident. Am I crazy? He's nothing like the kind of guy I'd go out with, right? Oh, right. Because there's your famous checklist. Steady, mm -hmm. responsible, mm -hmm. good job, big stick up his butt. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new checklist. Why are we talking about this? Let's go home. No, we're not going to go home. Come on. Give romantic and stupid a shot. Oh, it's too late. He's already gone. No, he's not. He's parked out back. Here. Truck warming gift. <laughs> Would you mind if I held you for a while, for a while? Would you mind if I loved you for a while? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I was just stopping by to see if you're happy with your purchase. It's part of our <clears throat> customer satisfaction guarantee. Well, I'm very satisfied. In fact, everyone seems to love this truck. They've been pointing and laughing at it all day. <laughs> so, um, see so you're getting settled into your new home. Um, I'm not living here. Uh, why is there an extension cord running out to your truck? I'm giving the blue goose a jump. <laughs> And I'm living here. Want to show me around? Sure. Right there's the kitchen. <laughs> and here we have the den slash dining room slash media center. <laughs> and, and I guess I'm uh, sitting in the bedroom. <laughs> Would you care to join me? In your bedroom? I don't think so. I'll just stay right here. Well, I guess that's okay if you don't mind the rats. Are there rats down here? Oh, yeah. Cozy up here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I brought you something. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I'll look forward to having something to put that on. <laughs> uh, listen, I gotta be honest about something. I was kind of hoping you'd go out with me if I bought this truck. Oh. Well, I have a confession to make, too. We don't really have a customer satisfaction guarantee. Deception and lies. It's like we're already married. No, it's not. My legs are shaved. Wow. We have more in common than I thought. <laughs> Listen, I know I've seemed like a crazy person, but I've never acted like this in my life. You think you're crazy? I'm the one sitting in the back of a truck with a hobo. <laughs> Look, I want you to know that when I can afford it, I'm going to ask you out on a real date. And if I have to buy another truck, I'll do it. You don't have to buy another truck. You had dinner? No. Would you like some peaches? They're packed in their own juice. <laughs> Let's see. Best if used by... Ooh, we better get on these. I really don't want any peaches. Okay. Well, I got some chunky light tuna that's packed in oh, a Oh, for song. God's sakes, would you kiss me, you big hobo? <laughs> this ain't over, Rodney. <laughs> I will have my revenge. <laughs> For my name isn't. Gerardo Roberto! Oh, hell! <laughs> Where were we? So, really, if it wasn't for your Aunt Charlie, none of us would be here. How come you never told me that? Well, you always got so puffed up about being irresistible, I didn't want to burst your bubble. <laughs> so what happened after the kissing? Well, that's when your mom and I realized that the truck needed new shocks. Time for bed, boys. <laughs> Did 
Charlie, it's Rodney. Are you at the laundromat? Kind of. <laughs> <sighs> don't be mad. I'll be done in a second. You don't have to leave. Charlie, I want to apologize for yelling at you. And if it wasn't entirely clear before, you're way more important than that truck. Rodney, I'm so sorry about that. I want to help you buy a new one. We're not buying a new one. Look, that truck may not be perfect. You may not be perfect. This family may not be perfect. And you're not perfect. And... You already said me. <laughs> the point is, we belong together and you're not perfect. <laughs> now give me a hug. Thanks. For what? For everything. So you forgive me about the truck? Yes. And the golf clubs? What happened to my golf clubs? Let's hug again. <laughs> Heavenly.